Hey, what's up guys, mine's Fresh Swim, and welcome to yet another short tutorial. I, 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 I'd say I'm surprised, but it's been, this is the fourth tutorial in a row that's been pretty short. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start thinking about some more complicated ones. Otherwise, they're not gonna feel... Oh, this one especially is not gonna feel as, um... Needed, I guess? This one's a pretty simple one. Uh, basically, we're just trying to recreate the effect as best as we can, but using tools that already have those properties with them. So it may feel obsolete, which is unfortunate. But we're gonna try anyways. Hopefully I get a bigger idea next time. Uh, this time we're talking about Breath of the Wild, and uh, there's, a, there's a mechanic called Flurry Rush, where if you dodge at the right time from an enemy attack, Either backwards or left or right, uh, depending on the attack, which is not implemented here. We're just gonna treat it as dodge in general. Uh, the user will be able to counterattack with a flurry of attacks for free against that target. And uh, from that, you can probably guess how we're gonna do it. But regardless, let's go to our plugins. Now, the only plugins we actually do need are actually the obvious ones. The given one, of course, being Buff and State's Core. Can't forget about that. We also have counter control all things, which means you do need damage core, just because it's uh, counter, co counter control is an extension for damage core. Uh, we actually, the. Hmm. Oh, right. Skill core or action six packs, again, because uh, we're going to be using them to remove a state at the end. But as the same as I don't know what other uh, tutorial for we did that had the same exact thing, but it might have been a very recent one actually. But this effect um, can be done with a variety of plugins, I'm sure. So uh, there's that. Regardless, I said that multiple times already. But yeah, we're already on to the demonstration, so let's get on with it. Going on to our skills and states, I. And re-recording this, so I know for a fact that you actually don't need Buff and State's Core. I don't know why I didn't remove it from my uh, my notes, but uh, yeah, you don't need Buff and State's Core. Sorry about that. Um, going on to the skills here, uh, let's go over the first very easy one. It's called Dodge. All it does is apply the Dodge status effect to the user. Going on to the Dodge status effect, here we go. Priority doesn't really matter necessarily. I well, priorities for a lot of things, but in this situation, we just set it to whatever we want. Uh, removal conditions, remove battle end, because uh, we don't want this to just persist after the battle. I don't think it really matters unless it carries over to the next battle, but you might as well just put it anyways. Now, turn end here, we actually want to set it to 1, because we actually want the user to dodge attacks only on, their, on this specific turn before their next action, which may seem strange, but... It's kind of important because, uh, I mean, you, if you wanted to, you could make it so uh, they dodge and attack at the same time, but it kind of makes sense like this because they're not taking an action. I don't know. I know there's games that you can attack and dodge at the same time, but in Breath of the Wild, you can't, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, going into our extra parameters here in our traits, we're gonna be saying counterattack to. Actually, whatever you want. Um, in this tutorial, we're setting to 100%, so we activate it every single time. But you can set it to pretty much whatever you want. But do keep in mind because we're reusing the evade counter note tag, which means every time the counter attack um, procs for this user, uh, the user will be evading the attack because uh, it's a dodge as effects so or the dodge attacks. Which means uh, you should be treating this as an invasion buff if you're using evade counter. There's also hit counter, which means you shouldn't be treating treating as an evade, evasion buff. You should be treating it as a not evasion buff because uh, you'll be getting hit every single time. Which is uh, interesting, to say the least. To say the least. But keep that in mind when you uh, set the percentage of counter attack. Now we're gonna be setting counter skills to well whatever skill you have. In this case, it's 56. So going back to our skills here, 56, Flurry Rush, we'll be attacking four times in a row with whatever formula uh, and element you want. We're setting certain hits so that it's always 
makes contact, but if you want to use physical, go right ahead. It doesn't necessarily matter. Now, well, we'll be explaining skill corner actually just next later. What we also can do is using counter control plugin, counter control plugin, we can also add counter conditions so that, say, this uh, counter can only proc off of a physical attack dodge, which if you want to do that, go right ahead. But in this case, I'm not using it. Well, it's because I think conditions are... I am not having the best luck with conditions in general. And then I can't seem to get them to work sometimes. But yeah, if you want to use conditions, go right for it. Going to an action sequence here, we have an actual action sequence which uh, isn't necessary because there is another purpose where you can actually sequence for that's optional, which is actually all the way at the end here. Removing, removing the dodge states from the user after the entire flirt rush is completed. Using the buff and sorry, using the skill core, I believe is after action evaluation. There is, there, there's another. I'm gonna, I'm actually search it up right now. Very professional, I know. There is, there is a set of note tags that you can use that happens after the action is being taken, which does indeed allow you to do uh, script stuff. Ah, after evaluation or post damage, whichever one you'd like. Post damage or after evaluation. Uh, you can use that and remove the state that way. I believe you just use something like user dot remove capital S state and in parentheses you put whatever state dodges. The reason why we want to remove the state is actually because um, if you don't, the there uh, you can dodge and flurry attack or flurry rush off of multiple enemies. So if one enemy attacks, you dodge it, flurry rush, and another enemy attacks, you can dodge it and flurry rush. You don't necessarily have to do that, but if you want to, you're going to need skill core or action sequence packs. I think specifically two, to in order to uh, stop that from happening. Or if you if you want to go not do that, you don't necessarily need actually skill core and action sequence packs. There's that. But yeah, otherwise, first is tutorial, so we're gonna go on to the demonstration right now. Alright, here we are in demonstration, and we have some two rows here with only the basic attack because, to, to be frank, they don't really need any other attack for this tutorial. We're not using conditions, we're not showing off multiple skills, things like that. Anyways, very simple uh, demonstration here. We, we apply the dodge effect to the user using the skill, of course, dodge, and, well, you'll see what happens. I could have sworn I took out the 5 hits and put it to 4. Eh, it's fine. I know I said 4 in the tutorial because I died, changed it, but... Wow, okay, it's back to 5. Let's do that one more time just so you know what happens. So basically we're dodging here. We strike an attack. It always, it's always gonna miss because counter attack is set to 100% and then we go and use flurry rush. And uh, just like that, uh, the second one does not proc flurry rush because our dodge effect is already moved. Removed because we use Ash Sequence Packs slash Skill Core, of course. I keep saying Ash Sequence Packs like we're using all of them. Technically, you're only using, you're only using two. So I get Ash Sequence Pack. Semantics. I, something like that. I don't know what the word is. Something semantics. But, anyways, yeah, that'll be it, and I will be seeing you at the outro. Am I running my ideas? Perhaps. I do a few more, but hopefully they're not going to be as short as these ones have been. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've been playing Breath of the Wild. I uploaded actually recently me being Ganon for the first time. So after 115 hours, I did in fact beat Ganon, but I'm not even close to being done with the game yet. It's probably going to take me 300 hours. I am not kidding. Regardless, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as for random thoughts, I guess... Um, I haven't played Maple Sword. Is that? That's pretty cool. Uh, not seriously, just for fun. Just, just to relax, I guess. It's kind of a relaxing game, even with however many changes they made to the game. Other than that, there shouldn't be much else. I mean, this tutorial may seem uh, not fulfilling, not filling. 
It just sounds like you're eating me. But, yeah, I apologize for that. But regardless, um... Oh, that's what I want to talk about. The fact that this tutorial... Tutorials are basically one month each now, because dev stuff prioritizes tutorials now, which is kind of sad. But at the same time... Uh, oh, never mind, I should probably record a dev thing soon. Just to actually, like, show me doing stuff. But yeah, that'll be it for this outro. And this short tutorial. So with that said, I will see you guys next time. So, see you guys, and stay safe. Bye-bye.